Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Mac Flash Movie Trivia Championship. My name is Matthew, and I'll be the one asking the questions around here. This, my friends, is the end. The end of the gathering tournament. The tournament to decide who is going to be the new number one contender for the Mac Flash Movie Trivia Championship, currently held by Andrew Bryan. The winner of this will face Andrew at the end of August. We are pushing that match to the end of August for a couple reasons I'll explain at the end of this matchup. Today's matchup is somewhat of a rematch, somewhat of a rubber match. These two players have faced off twice before, and I know they are eager to get back at it today. So, introducing first, with a record of four wins, two defeats, Scott. Despin. Oh, yeah. There he goes. What's up, big guy? What's up? How are you doing? I'm ready, pal. I'm ready. ready. Um, and his opponent with a matching record of four wins, two defeats, Mac Flash, Mike Mueller. Hey, this is the first time I've ever seen one of these with no editing at all. This is fantastic. I think this, this is, is a great. Start. This is awesome. That's not true. <laughs> so like I said earlier at the top of the show, and it's it's actually the first shot in the opening titles. You guys have faced off before in singles competition. Mm -hmm. uh, Scott oh. took the win that time. Last season. In the like, yeah, in our first season, long time uh, ago. <laughs> and then later on that season, there was a triple threat match for the initial title holder, and AB won that. Mm -hmm. But scores dictate that Mike beats you. Yeah, and rough showing. That was a tough. That was. There was I remember a lot of tough trivia horror, horror questions. In that one couldn't get my so, head around that. So this is a rematch, rubber match, the third match of a trilogy. Probably won't end here. I'm sure you guys will meet again. <sighs> Join forces. Oh, there's Ooh, a that's nice. There's an idea. <laughs> Balances me out on the fandom stuff. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> so, gentlemen, if you guys are ready, and everyone watching is ready, I am ready. Let's play. We'll start with round number one. And we'll start with the rules to round number one. Oh, yeah. my favorite part. This is not some kind of MMA anything goes thing. There are rules to this. The rules for round number one are as follows. The players will be asked 10 questions from different movie categories. They'll be given time to write down an answer to be revealed when time is up. One point is awarded for each correct answer. Take that down. You guys are ready. The questions are up. <clears throat> Round one. Question number one. Starts with 80s. Which 80s movie features Michelle Pfeiffer, Susan Sarandon, and Cher as three women who discover their recessive magical abilities? Which 80s movie features Michelle Pfeiffer, Susan Sarandon and Cher as three women who discover their recessive magical abilities. Five, four, three, two, one. I'm going to start with Mike. I don't know if I got the title right. The Witches of Eastwick? Is correct. Scott. Okay. The, the Witches of Eastwick. Also correct. Well, for some reason, I thought like I had the words in the wrong order or something. <laughs> I don't know. The Eastwick wishes of? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. No, just the and of right at the end. Round two. Question number one in 90s movies. In Wayne's World, what song do Wayne, Garth, and their show crew sing along to while headbanging out? Excuse me. While heading out for the night. In Wayne's World. What song do Wayne, Garth, and their show crew sing along to while heading out for the night? Five, four, three, two, one. Starting with Scott. 
Bohemian Rhapsody will never be a song kids bang their heads to. Correct and incorrect at the same time, you do get a point. That's Mike, from that's Bohemian from, uh, Rhapsody. Also has Bohemian that's Rhapsody. From Bohemian Rhapsody. Yes, I picked that up. <laughs> Mike, yeah, good. I'm like, yeah, I'm not shitting on a song. I'm like, no, Myers, Myers says that in, in Bohemian Rhapsody. Round one, question number three, action adventure. Angelina Jolie trained James, James McAvoy in becoming an assassin in what 2008 film? Angelina Jolie trains James McAvoy in becoming an assassin in what 2008 film? Five, four, three, two, one. We're starting with Mike. Uh, I couldn't come up with it. I, I'm going to kick myself when I hear it, but... Let him hear it, it Scott. Wanted, my number yeah. four 2008 movie on films at 21. <laughs> Was it? Yeah. Oh, I'm glad. I forgot that. Uh, point for Scott. The score is three to two. Uh, question number four. In animated and family films, in Space Jam, what NBA Hall of Famer is seen golfing with Michael Jordan and Bill Murray? In Space Jam. What NBA Hall of Famer is seen golfing with Michael Jordan and Bill Murray? Five, four, three, two, one. Starting with Mike. No, starting with Scott. Yeah. Excuse me. Larry's not white. Larry's clear. Larry Bird. Charles Barkley. Incorrect. Scott. Moves not that. Yes. They were four best buddies at the time. Up next in comedies, what comedy western stars Jodie Foster and Mel Gibson as poker players? And what it comes up all the time in our <laughs> trivia. Apparently, what comedy western stars Jodie Foster and Mel Gibson as poker players? Five, four, three, two. One. Now we start with Mike. Maverick. Correct for a point. Scott. Maverick. Richard Donner. Yep, that's correct. Point for Scott. The score is five to three. Round one, question number six. In dramas, Nicholas Nicholas Cage plays a burned out ambulance paramedic in what Martin Scorsese film? Nicholas Cage plays a burned out ambulance paramedic in what Martin Scorsese film? Five, four, three, two, one. Scott. It's something like Devil's Night. It's not it's it's close. Incorrect. Bring, Bring out the dead. dead. Bring out the dead. Bringing out the dead is correct. I'm like, okay, it has devil, dead, death, something like that. Yeah. Uh, Mike shortens the gap. The score is now five to four. Awesome. As we go to horror thriller. What is the name of the U S marshal played by Leonardo, Leonardo DiCaprio in the movie shutter Island. First name is fine. Okay. Thank God. What is the name of the U.S. Marshal played by Leonardo DiCaprio in the movie Shutter Island? Do you know his last name? Me? Yeah. Yeah, is it's written down right okay. there. <laughs> okay, no, no, no. That's good. Five, four, I I know it. three, two, one. Starting with Mike. Put Isaiah. Incorrect. Scott. It's Teddy. Teddy. His last name Teddy. Is it Teddy Daniels? It is Teddy Daniels. A point for Scott. Score is six to four. That Scorsese movie, I know. <laughs> My least favorite Scorsese movie. Oh, there's worse. Ooh, there's a that's you a like conversation. Hugo Moore? Hmm? You like Hugo Moore? 
You like Hugo more than Shutter Island? I don't consider that a Scorsese film. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. That's insane. It's a kid's movie. As but we... yeah, maybe. But maybe, yeah, I do. <laughs> now that yeah, I think I about like it. You should just commit it to it, yeah. Now that I think I'm, about it. I I'll say this thought. about Shutter Island. I didn't see it in theaters. I saw the trailer, and then somebody at school came up to me, and he said he sh saw Shutter Island, and then I described like what I thought the ending was, and he was like, yeah, you're right. It's like, so right. my grip about Shutter Island, I've seen it twice. I saw it in theaters, and I was like, man, that movie's half an hour too long, and then the internet loves it. So I watched it like a year ago, and I was like, yeah, that movie's still half an hour too long. It's like 240. It's super long. That's probably why I've never stayed awake for the ending. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's keep rolling here. Okay, question number eight. <clears throat> musicals in the 2020 film Eurovision song contest, the story of fire saga, Will Ferrell and Rachel McAdams are bandmates representing what country? <clears throat> it's like a lot of, yeah. Yeah. In the 2020 film Eurovision, Eurovision song contest, the story of fire saga, Will Ferrell and Rachel McAdams are bandmates re representing what country? Five, four, three, two, one. Scott? Is it Finland? It's incorrect. Okay. Mike? Sweden? Sweden also incorrect. It was Iceland. So I, that was the three. I thought that, I thought that, and I thought Iceland. <clears throat> How many people Round have seen one? that? <laughs> yeah, it was on one of his goddamn lists. The Oscar nominated movie, Fire Saga, whatever it is. Oh, um, get out of here. <laughs> Question number nine romantic comedies. <clears throat> Who directed Bill Murray and Scarlett Johansson in Lost in Translation? Who directed Bill Murray and Scarlett Johansson in Lost in Translation? Five, four, three, two, one. Mike. Sofia Coppola. Correct. Scott. Sofia Coppola. Also correct. Seven to five. As we go into the last question of round number one, science fiction fantasy. Excuse me. What is the name of the virtual reality world Featured in Ready Player One. My my internet oh, frozen. Uh, you're frozen there. We can hear you though. Unless you're talking now and we can't hear you. Can you hear me? Can yeah. you hear me now? Yep. Yeah. We can see you. Yeah, my my literally my internet bars just all disappeared all of a sudden. <laughs> the Jim Jim said the same thing last time. No one like <laughs> what is going on? No, it's weird. Did you get the question? It's in the corner, it's like low bars. No, is I heard you say sci-fi and then okay. it went out. What is the name of the virtual this one? What is the name of the virtual reality world featured in Ready Player One? What is the name of the virtual reality world featured in Ready Player One? Five, four, three. This is the sign of my night. I'm two, blanking. One. Scott. It's the Oasis. Yep. The Oasis is correct. This is how my day, that's how my day is going. I couldn't remember. Goodness. The score is eight to five. As we end round number one and move on to round number two, the, the, uh, Round of choose them. Is that what we're calling it now? The round, of choose em? <laughs> round number two is played like this. Players will be asked to select five categories, eliminating them from round number three. They'll be asked questions from those categories. They will be given time to write down an answer to be revealed when time is up. Difficulty has increased. Two points are awarded for each correct answer. The, uh, way we do this is by score whoever's in the lead gets to pick first that is scott scott pick away okay i'll go 90s ike uh, animated scott 
horror thriller. Mike? Uh, 80s. 80s. And Scott gets the last I'll do sci-fi fantasy. Sci-fi fantasy for the fifth question. Okay. These come down. Awesome. <clears throat> Round two. Are you guys ready? Sure. Round two, question number one. Born ready. 90s movies. Which movie starring Matt Damon begins with the line, if you can't spot the sucker in the first half hour at the table, then you are the sucker. Which movie starring Matt Damon begins with the line, if you can't spot the sucker in the first half hour at the table, then you are the sucker. Five, four, three, two, one. Mike. Rounders. For two points. Scott. Also Rounders. correct. Two points. The score is 10 to 7. Let's go to round two. Question number two in animated or family films. Who plays marine animal trainer Ray Lindley in Free Willy? Who plays marine animal trainer Ray Lindley in Free Willy? Five, four, three, two, one. Scott? Uh, I was going to say Joe Montana. It's not. <laughs> it's not I have Joe no, I have no idea. Mike? I have no idea. I don't know, but it feels like something Bill Pullman would do. Bill Pullman is incorrect as well. It was Lori Petty. Cool. Really? I couldn't name one other person. It's it's actually I don't even know who the kid is. I was thinking the kid is Elijah Wood. Joshua, in, it's Joshua he's Jackson. No, is it not it's Joshua Jesse, Jackson? It's Jesse James or Richter. Jesse James. Andy Richter. Richter? <laughs> Slide. I but what's the one with Elijah Wood? He's with the SEAL. No, uh, Flipper. Flipper, I thought. Okay, I get those confused, but uh, yeah, I've seen no, three fl ones. Flipper, Flipper's a dolphin, right? Right. Yeah. Andre's, Andre's, yeah, Andre's the seal. Andre's Andre's the seal. seal. <laughs> Jesus Christ, guys! <laughs> I know uh, that's, that's on that's me. A triple feature, everyone. right there. Yeah. And no, I, uh, and I would know none of the actors' names. Well, I would if I watched them right now, probably. But we're really sexist. We're sorry, Internet. We both went straight to men. Only men can be marine biologists, and then we're blown away when it was Lori Petty. No, it's more of the fact that I. I block Larry Petty out of my mind for everything. So. <laughs> Round two, question number three. In horror thriller. In the 2017 film Mother, starring Jennifer Lawrence, who played the role credited as man? Would help if I've seen that movie. I haven't seen it, and I know it. In the 2017 film Mother, starring Jennifer Lawrence, who played the credited, excuse me, who played the role credited as man? Five, four, three, two, one. We're starting with Mike. Let's go with him. He's always in the credits, even though he's not really in things. <laughs> he's done a few movies. That's, true. That's incorrect, though. Scott? Javier Bardem? Also incorrect. Is it not? Oh wow! No, it was Ed Harris. Ed Harris played the couple. They played the couple that came in. So here's the thing: I knew Javier Bardem was her husband, and then there's a couple that comes, and I assumed, okay, great. That was on me. I should have. My bad. As Can we, we get another on. free Willy question? <laughs> <laughs> what kind no, of whale is free Willy? Know that. <laughs> Round two, question number four: '80s movies. In Caddyshack, what candy bar? What candy bar is mistaken as feces in a swimming pool? In Caddyshack, what candy bar is mistaken as feces in a swimming pool? 
five, four, three, two, one. We're going to start with Scott. Is it O. Henry? It is not. My uh, that's, that's, it looks like crap, though. <laughs> uh, they need to change their candy bar if that's what Scott and I both think of <laughs> when we think of crap. It was a baby Ruth. Mm, of course it was. We conclude round two with question number five in science fiction fantasy. In 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, what is the name of Captain Nemo's submarine? In 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, what is the name of Captain Nemo's submarine? Five, four, three, two, one, starting with Mike. The Nautilus? Is correct for two points. Wow, Scott. I didn't say that. I, I didn't break that. Wow, good call. That increases Mike's score to, score to nine. The score is now 10 to nine as we go into round Man, number three. Exciting. Scott still has the lead, so he will get to pick first. As we remind everyone how round number three works. Will I cry about the Oasis? <laughs> round number three. The I players will be the Harris. I should. Uh, yeah, that's going to drive me nuts. The players will I be asked I I three questions of their choosing from the remaining five categories. They will be given time to write down an answer to be revealed when time is up. Difficulty has again increased, and three points are awarded for each correct answer. The player with the highest score. At the end of this round is the winner. And like, oops, I'm going to bring it back. And like I said, player in the lead will get to pick first. That is Scott. Okay, I'll take action adventure. Oh. Action adventure first. Mike. Yeah. Um, let's go with comedy. And Scott gets the last pick. Okay, I'll do romantic comedies. Fell right into my trap. <laughs> <clears throat> and with that, if you guys are ready, we will play round number three. Question number one. In action and adventure. Which 1986 film carried the tagline, The First Casualty of War is Innocence? Which 1986 film carried the tagline, The First Casualty of War is Innocence? Five, four, three, two, one. We're going to start with Mike. Yeah, this isn't it. I can't think. I couldn't think. Full Metal Jacket is incorrect. Yeah. Scott? I wrote Platoon. Is correct. Yeah. I knew their year wasn't even right on that, but I had to pick a warm one. It was close. Full Metal Jacket was a year later. <laughs> too, that was too, to... sensitive a, too sensitive a tagline for Full Metal Jacket anyways. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Full Metal Jacket. War is shit. Sure are you. Kill yourself. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the tagline of that was <laughs> probably yeah. Accurate. Round three. Question number two. Comedies. Which Academy Award-winning actor directed the comedies Stir Crazy and Ghost Dad? Okay, repeat the question. Yep. Which Academy Award-winning actor directed the comedies Stir Crazy and Ghost Dad? Five, four, three, two, one. Mike, do you have it? Nope. Nope. There's Scott. a few names, I guess, Sidney Poitier, but. And that is correct. Is that for real? That is correct, Sidney Poitier. <laughs> that was up and heaved down the court at the buzz. I did, wow. 
My we have man. a winner. Scott. Guess who's Guess coming man. to dinner? AB, this guy for your title. <laughs> AB's in the green room. He's not very well lit. I don't know if he's going to make an appearance to. Uh, hey, listen, except, uh, oh, it, it's, it's it's about time that somebody else gets a chance to win, beat him like I did. So, uh -huh. Um. So, yeah, with that, gentlemen, that was a great match. Mike, great match, pal. wonderful to see you. <laughs> You'll be back for sure. I know it. Scott, you are on your way to meet Andrew Bryan for the championship. So with that, ladies and gentlemen of the viewing audience, how did you like the match? Don't Good forget game, to like, Mike. share, and subscribe. Uh, throw your scores into the comments below <laughs> as these guys no, share the love. So low. <laughs> we'll see everybody next time. And that'll do it for us today here at Mac Flash Movie Trivia Championship. Scott Despins is on his way to face Andrew Bryan at the end of August. We are moving that match to the end of August because in the meantime, we have a new division. The Mac Flash Movie Trivia Fandom Division. These matches will be comprised of questions from Star Wars, Harry Potter, the MCU, and Lord of the Rings and Hobbit films. That tournament will begin airing next week on Monday, August 2nd, and will continue throughout the month of August and conclude on August 23rd, where the winner of that tournament will be declared the first Mac Flash Movie Trivia Fandom Champion and will receive this very handsome championship belt. Then on Thursday, August 26th, we will conclude Champions Week with Scott Despins challenging Andrew Bryan for the Mac Flash Movie Trivia Championship. Who do you got? Let us know in the comments. Let us know on our Facebook page. Until then, we'll see you next time.